24 years old this year. Um, now I'm a mixed media artist. I work uh, across installations to sculptures and paintings. I was brought up with an inclination to music and the arts. Um, currently I practice the arts. I don't have time for music, but music is, uh, is a hobby for me now. So right now, a lot of my works are inspired partly by sound. I do some sound art, um, freelance sound designs, and uh, recently my work has been moving on to new disciplines uh, so that um, in that way I can expose myself to more learning. For this piece that I created for Pulse, I was actually um, experimenting the first time with glass paint, so I draped them all over uh, a panel of acrylic. And uh, from then on, I, that is when the inspiration started to come. I want to be a successful, emerged international artist um, that is celebrated across the region. That is a dream and a hope. I'm a diploma graduate from La Salle. We own this uh, my artwork. You can see lots of photographs here. But actually, when I first started out in La Salle, right, I hated photography. I refused to learn about cameras. I refused to learn about how to use the camera and everything. I just love hand free drawing and painting because that was what my late father teach me. During my last year of my diploma, then I started to learn how to use the camera. Because when I think back, it's no use for me to learn how to draw when I go to school. It's like I go to school to learn something new, not to perfect what I like to do. Just that the ink or solvent that I use on the photograph are my tools. I draw using solvent or ink. I don't think like, people do that. <laughs> okay, when I stay in Berlin, like when I stay with all the junkies, like, they were telling me like right, the the world is bigger. If you travel to one country, you're only at the first chapter. So I really have to read all the chapters. Chapter. That means I have to really travel and find what I'm going to do. This year, yeah. So I'm the eldest among uh, the three boys at home. Talent that I got, I think I got it from my mum because she she's a uh, she's a uh, she's very creative and artistic as a person. I think she's an all rounder. She bakes, she cooks, she does everything. I think she's uh, by profession she's a she's a makeup artist and also a stylist. My work now, I'm dealing with uh, the idea of a kiosk in Singapore. It's more about me as a person in Singapore and how I see you know, myself uh, in my daily activities, in my experiences. I think it would be financially because mm. And also, and how you like you know time manage your your as in your for your time management and stuff like that. I hope I could study till like uh, till masters. masters, you know, whether it's in Singapore or abroad.
yeah, and still practice art, you know, and make a living out of it. I think that that's a cool, or rather, that's something I really want. Yeah, or you can just call me RS. Um, basically, a student just graduated from NAFA with majoring in pre -made. Okay, basically, I don't really fit my work team to one content or context. So, I'm like exploring different kinds of words. But basically, my main objective to create words is like something humorous where there's some darkness here and behind This idea is actually, actually quite simple It's something like The basic idea is like thin, thin out of the box uh -huh. It's like for me we, I mean, I don't know the other race But we Chinese have the race of like We always say in Mandarin like Your torn out square It's like your head is square You can't thin out of the box and I actually use these like to represent like Singaporean. Because Singaporean they have to follow the laws, I mean the obey the system. It's like the head is square. So I actually create something like I use different kind of shapes but not square. It's like saying like because if you disobey the law, you're considered like a criminal. But eventually you are someone special. is something that can save us. I don't think art can save the world. You give an African kids a choice, a food and an art, what, 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 will, what will we choose? I don't think he will choose a painting of Picasso over a food. I 
Nasri. I'm actually uh, I'm a graduate from Nanyang Polytechnic, uh, more to design, but I really love art. Yeah. Most of my works are always inspired by you know places that I visit, like when I go travel to Bali or Penang or even in KL. So um, I usually like to sketch down or like just draw anything that evokes something to me. It can be a personal memory, it's good or bad, and most of what I sketch down is um, there's always a connection, um, or more like a relationship really. So, the most challenging part comes from the creative process and how you juxtapose or you know show your final artwork because when my favorite subject is barung, so when I say barung, people always tend to think that it's just like a one foot picture of barung, which is quite um, common in you know in some parts of Indonesia, and I think that's the most challenging part lah. Like you have to find a creative angle and concept, and also you know like the subject that you you approach at the same time. <laughs> I'm actually pretty much excited and nervous at the same time. Excited because you know I get to you know show my works to the people that this is what interests me and nervous because how they will get back to me and perceive you know the paintings and their comments, you know. And yeah, but I think it's a good exposure as well for other artists and myself because I think we need um to just really, you know, like just push forward and just be daring enough and brave that whatever comments that we receive, we take it as a good um, comments. Uh, don't take it like um, personally or don't take it to your heart. I guess to be a good artist, um, you just have to receive it and just absorb it. <laughs> Um, I graduated in photography two years ago and currently a lot of my work involves the use of embroidery and also other mediums like watercolour illustrations. So usually I will start with an image in my head and I will try and explore that, that particular image and what makes it so interesting to me because it's always like it's always stuck in my head, I can't really get it out. So I'm curious to find out what is it about. But um, recently, I've been working more to, in the opposite manner, as in I have an idea and I try to find um, different visuals and methods to express this idea. My work calms me down, like I think the practice of embroidery, like the constant repetition and the... Uh, it's meditative and there's like a thinking process that goes behind it. In that sense, it calms me down but once the work is finished, there's this whole anxiety of um, what will people think, whether this will be good enough, whether it will get sold, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but I think it's just, it's part of being a young artist at these days. Yeah, when you're still trying to figure out um, what your work is about. Ideal life would be a different location. <laughs> Something by the sea, maybe. Um, ideal life would be... Uh, to wake up in the morning, like, feeling really inspired and energetic to start the day. And then when you, you go to sleep, you're... You're tired, but you feel a sense of accomplishment and you're looking forward to waking up.
I used to major in fashion in Napa and I I was from the retail industry doing fashion merchandising and stuff and right now and that was all in the past right now I'm actually currently doing my own stuff um, doing my own original art um, uh, finance fashion be it whatever Actually, it, uh, it's more of a self-reflection for human beings than myself in general. It's actually self-reflection about ego. I mean, everyone has ego and this ego really is a dangerous thing. And if we can't handle it, and most of the time we can't, we, we didn't even spare thought to, you know, for it, to put it away or to end upon it. Most of the time, we always go into it without thinking so I think that is the major, the most major, mis major mistake we use ever, you know, can ever do. Uh. So this painting is about um, the balance, the balance and the thought span on this um, character of, uh, or character trait called ego. And it's about spending 5 seconds to look at it and decide whether you want to go feed it or you want to you know, throw it away. throughout my life experience to people who want to learn or know more about the art scene especially in Singapore if no one tells you properly what's, what's, what it is all about you don't know you're lost and then you tend to follow the trend mm -hmm. and then you go lost again so the solid uh, ground is not there and set up <laughs>